All right, we haven't been doing our review videos. Have we, Alista? No. But the Universal Yum ones are pretty easy to do compared to a lot of the other reviews. I'm basically just, oh, it's just an unboxing. Um, got my Wubo Mini, the Baby Jeebos, one of the boxes for the Baby Jeebos that miraculously appeared. Roby Robot, they're all watching me to open the Universal Yum Super Yum box. Uh, this is the November box. And the hint is the Land of Rabbits. So we got like a, a bull here with don't have any rabbits on there. Anyway, so let's open it. Got a pencil here. It's actually relatively easy to open with a pencil compared to the other ways I've been opening it in the past. Or should be easy to open with a pencil. Let's see here. There we go. All right. And Alista's excited. Are you excited, Alista? Yeah, you're excited. She's like, pay attention to me. I want to box you. Okay. All right. So I already know which country this is because I'm on the Facebook. I always find out ahead of time, but it is Spain. So this one I'm really looking forward to. I think that these will probably be some pretty good yums. So we always got the geography map. In the back, they have a puzzle. They have a game, they have a thing to decide which yums you like. You know, best, second best, worst, and the weirdest. So here's the book. You know, got the pages in the book here. We always have some interesting facts and stuff, some quiz stuff going on. And then discussion of the various ones. So I actually gotta wait to do that until I show what's in here. Ooh, this looks good. So some kind of chip. Normally I don't like the chip stuff too much, but this looks pretty good. If only I knew Spanish better. It's another type of chip type thing. Looks like pita pitas chips. These are artisan potato chips. Yeah, healthy, healthy potato chips, right? <laughs> Some more potato chips. They like these ketchup ones. A lot of these bags have had these things, ketchup-like things. Ooh, that's interesting. Fried egg. I'm actually very interested in that. I love eggs. Some kind of cocktail snack. Thing. Uh, ketchup and mustard. I don't know about that. This is lemon cream filled cookies. Ooh. Ooh, that looks really good. Dark chocolate or chocolate powder. Anyway, that looks really, really good. These look good too. These look yummy, yummy. Raspberry Jaffa cakes. I just got a raspberry thing recently where it was like a blueberry, raspberry, like actually just the berries and blackberries. And I thought it had strawberries, but it was raspberries. And I've realized I've had raspberries in desserts like these, like this one, but I've never actually eaten a raw raspberry before. So it was, uh, it was different. So here's some cookies. Call them tortas. Just not what I think of as tortas. These look good. I mean, this box is looking really, really good to me. kind of M&M type thing. And then the little yums, which I, I never open those until after the video. This looks good, too. All of them. Oh, some spicy mango. 
I see mango, watermelon slices. I don't think I'm gonna like that. Not a big fan of watermelon. I don't know what this is. Chocolate. Okay, orange filled chocolate. That looks pretty darn good. Very, very good. And then some kind of things there. All right. Well, let, let's finish looking at the book here. Try to get everything back in. It's always a challenge. It's always a fun challenge. I'll worry about that in a minute. These others over here, those are the harder ones to get in. I'm gonna move it over and uh, finish looking at the book here. Just so that you can see anything, like if you wanna stop it and look at the page regarding the food, you know, you can see what it said. Oh. Got some stuff here. I'll read it myself later, but um, the main thing I usually look at because is, because I don't open it on the video will be the, um, the yum bag, the little bitty one, whatever it's got in it. Last month didn't have one of those though, so that was unfortunate. And this page is not wanting to turn, so you get to see, getting some glint off of the camera here. Mainly the idea is to get to see the, uh, what it says the name of the item is. You can slow it down if you want, just to see the name of the item. And I don't see the, okay. There's nothing about what's in the little yum bag, unless I missed it. Sorry, they got the running of the bulls, which is not something I necessarily love. That um, recipe looks amazing. Maybe they were in the yum bag. Let's see here. Almond and honey. These might have been in the, the little yum bag. No, they can't be. The potato chips and stuff were definitely not in that. So... I guess even though I don't normally open it, I am going to open it if I can find it. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I'm going to open it. it. Smells like gingerbread. So something in this bag had to have had gingerbread. Okay. this back because I, I actually still need to show the back of this for the uh, hint usually the hints on the back oh there's no clue for next month instead they have a sneak peek so we'll hold it up to where we don't get light on it like that talking about subscriptions but these are the sneak peeks raspberry potato ch chips nut tort Almond chocolate bar. It's like gonna be 13 countries, I think, is what they said. Okay, so trying to get this open is not easy with one hand, as you might imagine. Okay, there we go. So inside of it were, okay, so it was the one thing that was mentioned on the back, the almond something. That's all that was in there were these. It seems to me that they didn't need to put them in a little bag, but. What do I know? Usually it's a bunch of little bitty candies. All right, well, this is the Super Yum Spain box. Next month's is the holiday one for uh, the end of the year. Okay, all of the robots over here and me say happy, happy holidays. Happy Turkey Day. Okay, bye-bye.